Let's open up new possibilities by learning how to add doors and trapdoors to Minecraft 116.5 with Forge. Let's see how that's done. Alright, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more and let's now add doors and trapdoors to the game. So it's basically sort of a continuation on the series of weird blocks or as I like to call them non-block blocks because that of course makes sense, right? But whatever the case may be, how to add doors and trap doors, because there's a there's a few little tweaks that you have to do in order for them to work properly, but we'll manage, I am very sure. First of all, let's deal with the registration. Let's add the amethyst pressure plate twice just so that we have it. And then we can rename this to, first of all, the amethyst door, amethyst door in the name as well. And then instead of this being a pressure plate block, this is a door block. We'll delete the first parameter here and then everything else I would actually keep. The only thing that we do need to add is after the hardness and resistance, we want to add not solid right here. This is important because if you have alpha values in your textures so that basically you can see through the texture, this is for example, glass or doors have the little, have the little owl cropping where you can look through, then you need the not solid. Otherwise you will be able to see through the world. This is why this is there as well. The same goes for the trap door. So let's rename that quickly trap door. And then this, as you might have guessed, is a trap door block. Once again, the first parameter can be deleted. Let's make this a little bit nicer looking, something like that. And then let's also add the not solid here as well. Right, and of course, once again, the JSON files are the bulk of the work in this case. Once more, we're dealing with blocks. We're dealing with semi-complex blocks. Let's see how these JSONs work. I don't know how often I've mentioned it now, but you can go down to external libraries and then to net Minecraft client extra 1.16.5 or whatever your version is, and then basically copy over the block states JSON and model JSONs from Minecraft themselves, just so that you have a good template to work with. And we're going to do exactly the same. So we're going to copy over the Acacia door and the Acacia trap door to our block states right here. First of all, of course, rename, right click, refactor, rename, amethyst door, and then the other one as well, amethyst trapdoor. Now the amethyst door will simply highlight Minecraft, press control R and replace it with tutorial mod, so replace all, and then instead of acacia, we're going to also highlight acacia, press control R again, and then this is going to be amethyst, and replace all once more. In the amethyst trapdoor, we'll do exactly the same, first highlight Minecraft, tutorial mod, replace all, and then highlight acacia, press control R again, and then this is amethyst, replace all. As you can see, the block states are definitely a more complicated ones, maybe even the most complicated we have to date, but you shouldn't despair. Overall, it's not that bad. When it comes to the block models, however, you can copy those over or you can go into the description below and actually download the already made ones because I'm going to do the same, the ones I've already made. I'm going to quickly copy them over here and then we'll go through and see what they actually do. Right, as we've seen in the amethyst door block states, we can see there is an amethyst door bottom and a bottom hinge as well as a top and a top hinge. So as you can see here in our models block folder, we have four amethyst door JSON files, the bottom and the bottom hinge, the top and the top hinge. Let's see how they look. So as you can see, the door bottom simply has the parent Minecraft block door bottom. That makes sense. And then we have a top and a bottom texture. So we also need two texture files. Those are of course also supplied in the description below. Or you can of course go down to the net Minecraft extra client and look for the texture files from Minecraft themselves and maybe modify those. Apart from that, there is really nothing that interesting going on in the other ones. The door hinge simply has RH here, the top has door top and the top hinge has top RH as well. The textures are always the same, so it's always looking for the same textures for the top and the bottom door. If we take a look at the amethyst trapdoor, you can see that this is pretty much also the same. We have a template trapdoor bottom here, looking for the amethyst trapdoor texture. Same with the open model here, template trapdoor open and then template trapdoor top. Let's not forget the item models as well. Let's see how they look. The amethyst door has its own texture. So the item actually has its own texture while the amethyst trap door simply gets the block representation similar to what we've had with other blocks. When it comes to the textures, which are of course also available in the description below, we can get them over here and you can see that there's an amethyst door bottom, amethyst door top and an amethyst trap door. And there is also one item texture and that is the amethyst door for the item texture. And one last thing that we have to do is we have to navigate ourselves to our tutorial mod class. So this would be our main class and we actually have to change something in there as well. You can go down to this do client stuff method. This is the one that has the FMS 
XML client setup event in here. And what we'll do is we'll do event.inqwork and then we'll simply put in a runnable. So this is a, these are parentheses followed by an arrow and then curly brackets. And inside of those, we'll call the render type lookup dot set render layer mod blocks dot amethyst door dot get render type dot get cut out. And we'll duplicate this control D and then do the same for the amethyst trap door. Now, what are we doing here? We're basically setting the render layer of the door and the trap door in such a way that we can actually see through it. This is another one of those things that you need to do if you have alpha values in your textures. So if you have see through parts of a texture, then this also needs to be added. The reason why we NQ work is complicated. Let's say the idea is that if you have, if you're doing things that aren't threat safe so that only the client or the server should do, then it's best to enclose this in a onQ work. I will be honest, this is very complicated, so we're not gonna go into it at the moment. Usually I would say it's best to put in the onQ work even if you don't need it rather than the other way around because having it should not interfere with anything, but not having it will definitely interfere with things. Like always, don't forget to add the translation in the enus json file. And after everything here has been added, we can now see if it works. All right, we find ourselves in Minecraft once more and let's see if the door and the trap door have been added to the game. Amazing, let's set it down. And as you can see, I can look through it and everything works perfectly. I can also set down the trap doors at the top of the block or on top of a block, I guess. And if I right click, you can see that it doesn't work. Now the question comes, well, why, why doesn't it work? Well, if we think back, we've created the abstract block properties from iron. So this is basically an iron door. So we can use our pressure plates, for example, to open and close it up. I would say that's pretty cool. As you can see, we can also use the button and then it will open as well. Right, and this is everything that you need to do in order to add doors and trap doors to your game. The most important ones are definitely the render type lookup in the do client stuff as well as the not solid call. Those are the two that people most often not remember. And of course, there's a lot of models associated with this as well. Overall, they're not too complicated. And of course, they're also linked in the description below. And that would be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would of course appreciate a like from you and I will see you in the next tutorial. So yeah.